Hey guys, hope y'all are having a great evening. Mr. Joseph here. We're going to have some fun tonight for our children's devotional, and we're also going to learn some about God's Word, and I'm really happy that you're here uh, to join us. I want to show you a picture as we get started, and I do hope that you had a very Merry Christmas, and a new year is right around the corner, 2021. And in fact, the next time I see some of you, it will be the new year already. But I hope you had a great Christmas with your family, and I want to show you a picture as we get started. A picture of a baby. This is a very special baby to me because this is my baby. This is actually my first baby. My daughter, Elise, who's now 10 years old. But this is when she was just born, a few weeks or months after she was born. And I had two more after her, and they're now seven and four. But at one point in time, they all looked like this, a little baby. That's a very special baby to me, but I want to tell you about a very, very special baby. We're going to learn about him today. This was a baby who was sent especially by God. His mother's name was Mary. Can, can you guess who this baby was? I bet you already know. His name, of course, was Jesus. And his father was not an ordinary father was not even an earthly father. It was the heavenly father. It was, it was God. God himself sent his own son as a special gift to everyone in the world. And his name was Jesus, and his mother's name was Mary. Why don't you sing this song with me as we start to talk about Jesus today? God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me. Let's sing this verse together. I bet you know it. He sent His Son, He sent His Son. He sent His Son. He's so good to me. We're talking about how our God, our Heavenly Father, sent His Son, Jesus, to be born of a woman, a very ordinary woman named Mary. This is how the story goes. There was a young girl named Mary, and she was going to have a baby. An angel had come to her and told her that this was going to be a baby boy. And she knew from the angel that this baby she was going to have was going to be different from all other babies because he didn't have a father who lived on the earth. His father was God, the heavenly father. And the angel told Mary to name the baby, as we said earlier, Jesus. Why don't we sing a song about Jesus together? I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, J-E-S-U-S, 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 and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, E-S-U-S, E-S-U-S. E-S-U-S and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, S-U-S, S-U-S, S-U-S and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, U-S, U-S, U.S. and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, S, S, S and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh. And Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh. J-E-S-U-S, 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 and Jesus is his name, oh. Very good. All right, let's talk more about this Jesus, this baby Jesus. His father, as we've said, was God. But he did have an earthly father, and his name was, do you know Jesus' earthly father's name? 
his name was Joseph. And that's my name. So that name is very familiar to me. But Jesus' father was not me, Mr. Joseph. It was Joseph in the Bible. And Joseph's job, he was a carpenter. He made things out of wood, and he was planning to get married to Mary. Joseph cared very much about Mary. He loved her. And an angel came to him and told him all about Mary's baby. Joseph decided to marry Mary and be like a father, a dad, be a dad to this baby. So Joseph and Mary got married and they lived in a town. Their hometown was called, do you know what it was called? It was called Nazareth. They were happy and they loved God very much. Well, one day the ruler of the whole country, his name was Caesar Augustus. He sent a letter to Nazareth saying that all the people had to go back to the city where their families came from. He wanted all the people to go back to their hometowns to be counted. This was called a census. Every 10 years in our country, we have what's called a census where everybody in the whole country is counted. And that's what was happening before Jesus was born. The Roman emperor Augustus, Caesar Augustus, he wanted to know exactly how many people there there were living in the empire because he wanted everybody to pay taxes. So Joseph and Mary traveled back to Joseph's hometown, the town where his family was from, and it was called, I bet you know the name of this town, it was called Bethlehem. Now Bethlehem was a pretty long way from Nazareth, and back then, of course, there were no planes or trains or cars for traveling. People either had to walk or ride on animals. Well, because Joseph and Mary wanted to do what the emperor or the king commanded, they packed up their things and they left for Bethlehem. And Mary rode on a donkey and Joseph walked beside her. Well, when they arrived, they found the roads very crowded with people. A lot of people had come to Bethlehem to be counted for the census. Well, they looked and looked for a place to stay, but all the places to stay, the inns, they were full. It was growing very late, and Mary was very tired, and it was almost time for her baby to be born. Well, Joseph was tired too, of course, and they needed a place to rest. And this is important. God had not forgotten about Mary and Joseph. I said earlier that an angel appeared to Mary to tell him, to, to tell her rather that the baby that would be born to her would be very special. An angel appeared to Joseph to tell him the same. God cared very much about this couple and he had not forgotten about them. He was gonna take care of them. Earlier we sang, God is so good. And we sang, he sent his son. Well, let's sing this verse together. He cares for me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He's so good to me. God cares for me and he cares for you. We're very special to God. And he cared for Mary and Joseph. He had not forgotten about them. Joseph saw a place in Bethlehem, kind of like a shed or a barn. It was the place where the animals were kept. And he led Mary inside where it was warm and safe and they were thankful they were glad to find a, a quiet dry place to rest from their long journey well during the night a wonderful thing happened mary had her baby this baby that was to be called jesus was going to be very special mary was happy it was a son just as god had promised in fact it was no ordinary son of course he was the son of god joseph and mary gave him the name jesus Joseph looked for a place to put that newborn baby, and he found a box full of straw. This was the kind of box that farmers would put hay in so that the animals could eat from it. It was called, do you know what it was called where they laid baby Jesus when he was born? It was called a manger. And I've got kind of a manger with me. This may have been what the manger looked like, sort of, where they laid baby Jesus when he was born. Check this out. It's just a very ordinary wooden box. We put some straw in here, and there's a baby doll in here wrapped in swaddling cloth, sort of like Jesus was when he was first born. 
They laid him in a manger. Maybe it looked a little bit like this. I bet the, the straw or the hay that we have in here was pretty similar to uh, the straw or the hay that was in that manger where they laid Jesus. But isn't it amazing that the Son of God, who would be called the King of Kings, was placed in what really was a, a feeding trough where the animals uh, ate their food. Such a lowly, humble place for such a powerful, the most powerful person ever to be born was laid. But it shows us that Jesus was a, a humble, ordinary king and that he came uh, to minister to and to save humble, ordinary people like us. He cares about us, just regular people. He cares about all people. They laid baby Jesus in a manger and Mary fixed the straw and put a piece of cloth on it. She wrapped that baby up tightly and placed him in the warm straw. Well, outside the city, this is the last part of the story I want to share with you tonight. Some shepherds were watching over their flocks of sheep in the quiet night, and suddenly a great light filled the sky and brightened up the night sky. They'd never seen anything like it before. In the middle of the night, they saw an angel, and the angel spoke to them, and this is what he said. Let me read it to you. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And all of a sudden, there wasn't just one angel there before the shepherds, but many angels. A heavenly host is what the Bible says. And they were praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to men on whom his favor rests. Peace on earth is what the angels said when Jesus was born. And Jesus still can, he can bring us peace today, peace in our hearts. We sing a song. I just want to sing one verse from it. Some of you probably know it. Sing it with me. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my heart. Soul, almost can't lift my foot up. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. On that night when Jesus was born, those shepherds out in the field, the angels appeared to them and they sang and said before them, peace on earth, peace to men on whom his favor rests. And Jesus can still bring us peace today. When the angels left, the shepherds left their sheep and they hurried to the town of Bethlehem. The angel had said the baby would be in the town of David. And everybody knew that another name for the town of David was Bethlehem. The shepherds found Joseph and Mary and the baby just as the angels had said. And they, the shepherds told Mary and Joseph all about what they experienced. The angels that had appeared before them in the great light and the wonderful words that they said the shepherds were so happy that they found this special baby whose birth made even the angels of heaven happy. And this is the big point of our lesson tonight. This is what I want you to take away from it. Of all the gifts that anyone could ever give, and I bet a few days ago for Christmas you received some gifts, the shepherds on this special night knew that God's gift was the best Thousands of years before, God had promised to give the world this very special baby, and now that promise had been kept. Mr. Alex last week talked about how God always keeps his promises. God had given this little baby, Jesus, into the world, and he was and is the very best gift of all. God is so good. He sent his son. That son, Jesus, is the best gift that you'll ever be given. So how about we close out with a prayer and let's thank God for his son, Jesus Christ, the best gift of all. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this special time we've been able to spend together. Thank you for this amazing story from your word, this account, this true account um, of how you sent your son to be born of Mary and how the shepherds came and bowed before him, how the angels had appeared to them. It's a marvelous miraculous story of your son's arrival. We know that your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, is the best gift that we could ever receive, the best gift you've ever given. 
And we want to thank you for that gift. And we want to live in a way that shows you how grateful we are. Thank you so much for Jesus. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. Have a great rest of the night and I'll see you real soon.